there it was, my my own business doing uh you know statistics homework and all that gay ass shit. And then wham big ass box showed in the mail. And I was like, holy shit. What is it? What is it? Well based on the description and title of the video, I'm pretty sure you can tell what it is, but Ooh, let's go into the detail of it. So, I already cracked open the top just because I hate seeing those people who are just like, I gotta fucking open this shit, oh god. So, I'm gonna set this over there and gonna open this thing up and see what's up. So, get over there, you asshole. And, yeah, cool. Alright, so. Oh. <laughs> I haven't actually gone through it yet. Smell like cinnamon in here. <laughs> All right, so let me just change this out, and what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a Final Fantasy VII Korean Bucket Tin thing. A Final Fantasy VII Korean Bucket Tin. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is from, uh, South Korea. Um, I have a friend who basically was just like, hey man, here's a bunch of stuff that, uh, you know, I got, that I'm selling, and I was just like, what, what's that? And, uh, I've had my eye on this for a while now, I actually was able to find one. Um, this usually goes for about $300, and I got mine for about a buck fifty, so that's pretty awesome. Because you know how I like getting my discounts. So, uh, let's see, let's just go a little spin around, this is Final Fantasy VII right there. Uh, it was made by Samsung Game Max in 97, 98, which you know is a common year with Final Fantasy VII. There you got Yuffie, Tifa, Aerith. On the side, uh, you got a good idea what's going to be in here. Right there, you got a uh, you know Tifa, Frog, Cloud, Aerith, Sephiroth, and Chocobo, which is kind of similar to the American um, uh, pack that you can get, which I'll show you in a minute. So we got that, Aerith, Cloud. Sephiroth, Vincent, and I don't see, <laughs> I don't see Kate Sith, I don't see Barrett, I don't see, uh, you know, anyone, or Sid, anywhere, I never see those fucking guys ever, ever, alright, so this is the outside of it right here, and based on this, I'm guessing it sold for 3500 so I'm guessing 35 bucks maybe, or $350, I'm not sure, if someone can fucking tell me, that'd be great, alright, so, that's the outside right there, and yeah, you know, I, let's pop this fucker open. The box smells like cinnamon, so I'm hoping the inside smells like cinnamon. Hopefully there's not like a turd, so I'm like, hmm, cinnamon turd. So here we go. Ooh, nice. Alright, so let me, let me throw you over here for a fucking minute once more. Alright, let me lay everything out real fast. I like how the fucking, like, top's red. I'm like, <laughs> alright. It's kind of odd looking. Alright. So we got figures. We have fucking... Ooh, okay. And we got some of this stuff. And holy shit, I can't believe they legalized this stuff. Oh my god. You fucking see this. Alright, and... That, so... That's the bucket. It's a really big ass bucket, actually. I mean, like, shit. It's like a paint bucket. It smells like cinnamon. Ugh, it stinks good. Oh god, it's my pooping tin. So there's the bucket right there. I don't know if I should call it a bucket or a tin. So I'm gonna change in between. All right. So what we have here is uh, the frog, Tifa, Cloud. Uh, Chocobo, Aerith, and uh, Sephiroth. Although, if you've been watching my videos, you know that's not a Chocobo. That is a Chocobo. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, and then these are the American figures, and you can tell because Cloud's hair is a darker color, while with the Japanese version, it's actually like pure blonde. Um, also, with Aerith, you can tell because uh, in, in the earlier figures for the Japanese, you could see uh, her lipstick was like a lighter color. Why do I know these things? I don't fucking know. I, I read my stuff. You know, whatever. And then you have Sephiroth, which is cool. And then I got my dog here. Eh? Susie, stop being so fat and old. God damn. And let's see. You have the PC game, which is cool. And you have the. Oh, actually, that's, uh, that's a picture of Cloud when he was. Uh, Younger, which is actually really cool, because that's when uh when you're on Mount Nibelheim, uh you 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 know you're level one, you can see the pictures. It's one of my favorite parts of the game actually, um, but normally his picture 
looks like that. Which is, you know, like the standard thing you see uh, when you're on the menu, just fucking around with your material and all that other crap. But with uh, with this picture, it's when he was younger. At least it looks just like it. And that's really cool, because I don't see that very often. And so uh, you got the game right there for PC. I'm guessing Japanese or Korean version. I think I have a Korean version over there somewhere. Um, little postcard thing. They always have those in these fucking kind of things. I don't know why. Uh, the manual, I'm not going to go through this because, in all seriousness, if you've seen one manual, you've seen every manual. But, you know, oh my god, new material, ho ba do ba dee ba doo oh, It's kind of cool. Bam. And then right here you have, I'm guessing, a larger manual. It's not big enough to be a strategy guide. <laughs> not big enough. <laughs> Motherfucker. And you got that. And oh my god, you actually have uh, Cloud, Aerith, and uh, Bear on the front. And uh, did you know actually originally that the, it, these were going to be the main three uh, characters of the game? And that was going to be the main group, but then they decided to throw in uh, Tifa later and stuff. That was the main first three characters. I remember uh, reading that in uh, one of my game magazines. Yeah, I actually watch one of those game magazines. I read them from time to time. But yeah, those were the original three characters that were going to be in it. So that's always interesting. And, uh, you know, little bios, information. I'm not going to get into it because it's just, I hate when people are like, okay, this is my strategy guide, derpity derp. So that's what's, what's all comes in the tin, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, fuck yeah. So, I, I mean, I understand why they can't have, you know, Barrett and Sid on the front or Kate Sith. And they can have Yuffie, fucking piece of shit character. But whatever, that's cool. Fuck! And then, um, you know, so the simplest thing to compare this to is, like, uh, ugh, the American version, or the, the collector's American version, where you have Tifa, Barrett, Cloud, and Aerith, and the two little side, you know, Chocobo and Frog. Um, and then this one comes with, you know, Tifa and all them. But no Vincent, and, uh, you know, no Red 13, even though I have all those over there. So, yeah, so I got all those. Got all those extra night figures. I got those extra night figures. I got those extra night figures. And it all comes in this orgasmic Final Fantasy VII Korean bucket tin. So, yeah, holy shit. Ugh, so I'm gonna try and find someplace to fucking put it. Probably, probably up there, I don't know. Ugh, fuck, but yeah. So that is my Final Fantasy VII Korean bucket tin thing. And, uh, you know, like always, I'll be back with some type of new video. I know I got, um, a couple displays, like, right here in the tube, and I got a Thea Rhythm tube right there. I got a new Thea Rhythm thing over there as well, and a couple things down there, and then some packed over there and shit. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, I will once again be back for a new Final Fantasy VII Collectibles video in the future. And like I always say, oh, slow!